Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another unboxing and I will be unboxing all of the different card packs for Conan Adventures in an Age Undreamt of role playing game. These card packs have a lengthy history as they were part of the Conan Kickstarter which came out uh, a couple of years ago and these were recently added to the Modifius lineup in uh, in the Modifius store and then quickly sold out and now it seems that there is a another printing maybe second or third one and they have finally found their way to our household so let's proceed to unbox the different card packs and see what they are about So we have here some standard packaging stuff and then some bubble wrap and underneath we can find the different card packs. So we have here the Doom and Fortune cards. Then we have the location cards. Then we have story cards. The sorcery cards. And last we have a pack of encounter cards. And then the rest of the wrapping well protected in this package so let's start by taking a look at each of these different card packs and let's see what they contain first the encounter cards as you can see there is quite a big number of different cards and opening up the pack, we have some standardized descriptions, legal stuff, and credits on the other side. And then we have the cards themselves. So here in the first card, we can see stats for a bandit minion type and we have here all the different standard attributes listed for a bandit minion as per the Conan rulebook. On the other side we have the attacks, special abilities and the doom spend and then there is a quote from Robert e. Howard's A Witch Shall Be Born. So, if we look at these cards, I think it's pretty soon evident that these have been color-coded. So, the minion types are in green, the toughened ones are in red, and then we have the nemesis types, which seem to have a grayish color, as exemplified by the bodyguard here. So it looks like that these encounter cards are a reference set of cards showing all the different different uh, encounters outlined first in the corner rule book and then let's see if there are cards related to the other different corner books like Conan the Pirate, Mercenary, Scout, and so on. So we have here different toughened opponents, opponents like the Degenerate Chief being a nemesis, Minion, Guard, 
Guard Sergeant, Toughened, Knight, Toughened, etc. The art clearly comes from the different Conan RPG books. So this is the same art that we have seen on different occasions in various Conan books. Pirate, Pirate Captain, Savage, Sorcerer, Toughen version, Thug, Ape, Warhorse, Giant Constricted Snake, Giant Scorpion, Crocodile, Giant Venomous Snake, Giant Spider, Child of Set. Okay, so a lot of the stuff from from the uh, core rule book. There's the Forest Dragon, Dweller of the Deep, Ghost, Ghoul, Mummified Sorcerer, Malign Plant, Skeletal Warrior, Werewolf, Winged Ape, Unspeakable Abomination, Child of the Dark, Child Devil of the Outer Dark. And then we begin to see individual characters like here Captain Strom with this yellow orange color. So in addition to kind of generic templates, there are also the unique characters present here, like Strom, Shavaras, Taurus of Namidia, Sothalanti, Astrias of Namidia, Valeria of the Red Brotherhood, Belit, Thothamon, Conan, and Amoric. So this seems really to focus on the information from the core book, different characters shown there and then we have a set of cards containing reference information about creature categories, groups, fields of expertise, special abilities in three cards and creature adjustments. So these are basically a set of reference cards for your games where you can quickly refer to certain rules, certain conventions, different characteristics of different enemies and encounters. So this would all allow you to also quickly improvise certain encounters if you are so inclined, if you wish to throw a couple of ghouls, bandits, or sorcerers at your players. So that was the encounter card set. And next we have a set of sorcery cards. Here being maybe my least favorite uh, Conan cover of these rule books recycled here. So opening up this this deck, we have again the same same card containing the credits and and uh, legal information. And then we start off with the sorcerer cards. And in this case, we have spells starting with Astral Wanderings, one of two, two of two, Atavistic Voyage, and so on. So these cards contain on two sides the relevant information for each spell. Having here the casting cost, difficulty, duration, 
and then on the other side the different momentum spins. And going through these quickly we can see that all the different spells from the core rulebook are here and it seems that there are also spells from from uh, other books as well. Then we have the different enchantments, exploding powders, blinding powders, reinforced fabric, talismans, lotus pollen, just as in the coral book, how to make petty enchantment, enchantments, information on patrons, federation, so really a lot of reference to different sorcery counter magic and different rules for sorcery including libraries magic artifacts list of spells and then we have here a couple of different minions or encounters related to these spells as in the child of Dirketa, shadow on the wall. And also we have a couple of stats for encounters like Thothamon of the Ring. Interestingly, we also have the sorcery talent tree listed here, the alchemy talent tree, and then different repertoire related cards and then there is an index of sorcery terms so you can check further in the core rulebook so this card set is really heavily referential if you are interested in using these in your game this would be a quick way to share information with your players instead of referring to the core rulebook and speeding up different things in place. So I think there is clear value in using these sorcery cards. Next up we have the story cards and this set contains different plot elements which can be utilized in your Conan game. So here we have the first story card which is called Into the Jaws of Death and here is a short description of the plot detail which can be introduced into your game so you could use this card basically when planning a new adventure if you want fresh ideas which type of complications you'd like to insert in the game and on the back side there is a symbol of a dagger and then this continue with another example here this one called right where I want you seems that there is some difficulty in focusing on this card and here unbeknownst to the play characters the antagonist has been leading them on a chase the entire time because they are the true missing ingredient to the plot fulfillment so different plot complications that one uncle the antagonist has closed eyes to a player character this could be a familiar familial bond or some other kind of link. And going through these different story cards, we have a huge amount of different, different plot points here, which could be used to enhance the game. There seem to be different symbols on back of these cards so we have this dagger symbol on back of 
some of the cards and then we have this let's say mountain symbol on back of some other cards so looking at these there are also other symbols so these have been divided into a few different groups we have a bow we have a circle or a lasso symbol i don't know what this exactly is and then there is a serpent at the end we have uh, the card describing how to use the deck how to, use, how to use the deck, welcome to the story and plot deck. Each card presents a potential storytelling element, be that a hook to draw your player characters into an adventure, a dangerous obstacle, or a plot twist to surprise the hero, heroes or a goal, villains or virtues. So you could use this in combination with the Conan Game Masters toolkit, which also includes a lot of information on how to create new stories, how to create new adventures, so I think this is a nice addition to the randomized tables there where you can further include different elements, different story points into your game. And as you can see, there is a huge amount of different plot developments or complications that you could include in your game. Let's put these cards back in the box and continue with the remaining ones. Then we have location cards and this card pack contains information on a single classic location with a picture and appropriate momentum and doom spins. Okay, so starting from the first card we have some art and a quote in this case from the Scarlet Citadel and when we turn the card around on the other side we have the name of the location so a tavern then we have the momentum spend the doom spend and also the fortune spend and these spends contain different options for the players and for the game master to change the situation in this location. So for example, the momentum spend is describing knock a lantern into a pool of spilled alcohol, adding the burning condition to some area such as a tabletop or of section or section of floor maybe should be. Then we have the doom spend. For two doom, you can summon a toughened town guard captain who arrives at the start of the next round. And then fortune spend for one fortune, a secret door is concealed in the floor behind the bar leading to sewers under the sea and emerging at the harbor or outside the town walls. So these contain nice different options for either the players or the game master to change the events in the game. So looking at these cards we had first the tavern, then we have a jail cell, with an appropriate picture of some guards, we have an alleyway, There is the market square. Uh, 
and in each case we can see that these spends for momentum doom and fortune they are really unique and thought of so these show that considerable time has been spent on designing these cards and how they affect your game there is a force clearing seems to be pretty daunting for the camera to focus on and then going forward a cliffside then there's a river temple chamber ruins Don't stay away. Swamp. Underground cavern. And so on. So these cards actually do look very nice. They have art from different Conan books. And I think in some cases some art that I cannot immediately place that I have not seen yet in a Conan book and I think maybe this is one of the best card sets here thinking of improvising events in a certain location so if you're playing an adventure you could use these cards either in the planning phase or inside uh, during the game and throw in some unexpected complications or give the players opportunities for spending their momentum and fortune. Let's put these location cards back and then let's look at the last card deck which is the Doom and Fortune cards the Doom and Fortune cards state on the back that game I just can use the plot elements non-player characters, monsters, challenges, plot twists in these cards to craft their own unique corner adventures with ease so let's see what exactly these are about Okay, so we have here Doom cards with the kind of crimson highlight. Then we have Momentum cards, kind of yellow-orange color. And then we have just a few Fortune cards and then information on using these cards. So for fortune cards marked with the phoenix, the players refer to them when spending fortune. They are not discarded and can be reused. Momentum cards with the lion symbol. Select momentum cards appropriate to a new location or encounter and distribute as desired. Reusable when appropriate. And then with the serpent, the doom cards. For game master reference, select appropriate doom cards ahead of time and refer to when desired. Reusable. So, as stated here, all of these cards can be reused depending on the situation. And you see here on the back of the Doom card the serpent image, and then different special abilities listed here. So, there is special ability, mob and squad, special abilities, nemesis, fortune, determining player of action, dividing the group dramatic environments in various cards, sorcery, non-player character resources, and reactions. So these Doom cards basically contain reference to the different Doom rules in the core rulebook, and nicely every card contains a quote 
from one of the Conan stories at the bottom. And then after the Doom cards we have the Momentum cards beginning with a card entitled Lingering Sorcery. Here you can use one Momentum to buy an additional round of Duration for a spell or alchemical creation. And other momentum room momentum rules follow occult tutelage, battles in sight, tactical retreat, in the blink of an eye, swell of confidence. So these offer lots of nice different opportunities for the players to spend their momentum and especially remember all the different possibilities that momentum offers. There's a whole lot of things that you can use with these meta currencies, so it's good to have this kind of a reference set and have it available for the players. And on the backside we have the lion symbol. And then same thing for the fortune cards here containing reference to the fortune rules how to influence the story, overcome a weakness, second wind for result and vigor, and then how to perform an initial standard action and the bonus die. And on the other side, the phoenix symbol. Okay, now we've gone through all the different card packs for Conan Adventures in an age on window. So to quickly analyze these cards and draw some conclusions, I'd say that these card packs offer a very good base for reference during game. You could use these in your gaming table and distribute these to the players, or you could use these to improvise in game or for planning and creating your adventures, deciding which encounters to use to introduce different plot points, plot hooks, and changes. And especially the location cards are maybe one, one uh, excellent choice for including different Doom, Fortune, and a moment of spends that sometimes might be difficult to think of during the course of the game and here you have a good good set of ready-made suggestions how to use them. The material of these cards seems quite sturdy. They have a nice matte finish and as such are of good quality. So if you're interested in these cards I recommend checking them out in the Modifies store. Thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.